Over the last week, this space is down double digit percentage points too. <coughs> Doc, give me your view on those two that you have. Others probably have followed you into those names, Twilio and ServiceNow. Josh, I want to talk to you as well about this. Yeah, uh, I still like both those stocks, Scott. Um, and, I'm, uh, you know, this is one of those times where, as you know, I try to be a singles and doubles hitter, which means that I'm, for every option I buy, I'm selling an option above it when we're talking about calls, which the, in both those cases we are talking about calls. So... Um, that certainly gives me a little insulation, protects me a little bit from days like today, Scott. Uh, but I like Josh's trade. You know, I like CrowdStrike. I'll be looking to get back into that one because I exited that. Um, I'll be looking to get back in. I think last time we had an entry around 185, and it pushed up into the, you know, into the 210, 220 area, just like that. So I think you can get that kind of outperformance to see these stocks, Scott, down four to six percent in a single session uh data dog um crowdstrike you know the, these are big percentage moves and i think they give you an opportunity but it certainly gives you a little uh acid reflux at the same time yeah josh uh crowdstrike is is a name that i you know i always come back to you on um, when it has big moves and just playing off of what doc just said ab about that drop of 12 and a half percent over a week you say what well, the stock's been in the same range since December of 2020. If you go back and look at a chart, 170 has been support. So it's now closer to that 170, 175 level than it was a few weeks ago. But it really has been in that same range. Um, they do have earnings coming up very soon. I think the earnings will be great. Uh, historically, they've been crushing earnings. And as I've said many times on the show, you can't have a whole portfolio filled with these stocks. Like, you can have a couple. But you can't let your whole life become this um, live by the gun, die by the gun, because you, you know, you're going to have days <laughs> like this week or today, and they're going to be really uncomfortable. So I own this alongside lots of other stocks. I understand that it's going to be highly volatile. And, Judge, I'm looking at some names that I felt I missed in the run-up last year, that if they get much, much lower in price and provide an entry, I might start to buy. One example would be Zillow stock that has been absolutely pancaked over the last couple of weeks, ticker symbol Z. This thing was over 200 for like 10 seconds. I think I'm going to get it under 100 bucks. Hmm. So like that's the type of thing that I try to do in this kind of environment. Um, and, and we'll see what happens. I got a whole bunch of other names on my list, but uh, that's the one that looks closest to a buy for me. Well, it's, I'm, glad you, uh, I'm glad you were willing to mention it. I was going to ask you if you'd tease us a little bit, but then you, uh, you did it on your own and gave the name. So I, I do appreciate that. I don't tease. No, I, hey. I, I just go right for I, it. I, I should have figured that you would reveal the name. Our viewers appreciate it. I know that as well.